Good day. For today's video, we are going to discuss Music 10, Quarter 4, 20th and 21st Century Multimedia Forms, Philippine Opera. Introduction Opera is part of Western classical music form and tradition. It started in Italy at the end of the 16th century and soon spread throughout the rest of Europe. Eventually, English, French, and Italian operas also flourished. The opera is both a musical, and art form wherein singers, and musicians perform a dramatic work combining the text, called a libretto, and the music, usually in an elaborate theatrical setting. It incorporates many of the elements of theater, such as acting, scenery, costumes, and sometimes, even dance. The performance is presented in an opera house, cultural center, theater, or auditorium with the accompaniment of orchestra, or a chamber ensemble. The dialogues were sung, and not spoken, they are called recitatives. The symphony orchestra accompanies the singing actors and actresses, helping them to portray the full range of emotions possible in the operatic format. The orchestra performs in an area in front of the singers, called the orchestra pit, while the singers perform on the open area called the stage. Opera in the Philippines Filipino opera started to take shape during the middle part of the 19th century. Foreign performers, including instrumental virtuoso, as well as opera singers, and Spanish zarzuela, art and music form that involves spoken, or sung words which is also known as the drama Symbolico dominated the Philippine theater scene. The element of tragedy, emanating from the popular themes of romance, deceit, murder, vendetta, and other elements of human frailty, became a favorite narrative of the Filipino opera. Tragic endings and unresolved conflicts made for excellent choices of opera productions. Local theaters and early Philippine operas. Theater is defined as a building or outdoor area in which plays and other dramatic performances are given. A place wherein most popular forms of entertainment are present for people. For centuries, people have enjoyed drama, comedy, music, and other forms of entertainment. The history of theater can be traced back to 6th century BC where the ancient Greeks were the first to present dramatic presentations. Local theaters. Number 1. Teatro Zarilla. It is also known as the Dulong Zarilla Sa Manila in Tagalog, was a prominent theater in the Philippines. Once located along Calle Iris, Manila, the theater was named after Jose Zarilla, a Spanish poet and playwright. Number 2. Metropolitan Theater. It is a historic Philippine Art Deco building located in Plaza Latin in Ermita. Manila. It is recognized as the forefront of the Art Deco architectural style in the Philippines. Number 3. Variedades Theater Philippines. Erected in 1847, the theater was located at 40 Magdalena Street. It was known once as one of the most entertaining theaters for the not-so-demanding general public. There, the buffet genre, the political review, and other minor theatrical genres, were inventively exploited. Number 4. Teatro de Tondo. Teatro de Tondo was in operation before 1829, the year Husang Sisiv died. Domingo Celis, owner or manager of Teatro de Tondo, made it to the point to consult Husang Sisiv on comedias, or Moro Moro's genre that were to be shown. Number 5. Circo Teatro de Bilibid. It was a former Manila's first bullring was established in 1851. Some experienced soldiers worked in the bullring as fencers and horsemen. After Quesada's untimely demise, bullfighting declined and the Bilibid arena was converted into the Circo Teatro de Bilibid with a dome-like roof, splendid chandeliers, well-tended gardens and an incredible seating capacity of 2,500. A number of well-known Italian and French opera companies came to town to delight culture vultures with unforgettable performances. Philippine Opera. Number 1. Sandugong Panagi Neep. 
the first Filipino opera with libretto in Spanish by Pedro Paterno, a poet, novelist, musician, and government official, and was translated into Tagalog by Roman Reyes, Filipino novelist and dramatist, and music by Ladislao Bonas, father of Filipino opera. The opera symbolizes acceptance of American rule in the country. It was probably intended to be a propaganda, based on the libretto, the score, and the circumstances of its performance in 1902, Rivera 2008. This was first staged at the Zarilla Theater on August 2, 1902. Sandugong Panagi Neep was produced by Molina Benito Theater Company which was owned by Juan Molina, father of soprano and actress Tatai Molina, and national artist Antonio Molina. It was later translated by the Angli Schman M. W. Loving with the title, The Dreamed Alliance. Number 2. La Congbini. La Congbini by Patricio Mariano that was staged at the Metropolitan Theatre on December 19, 1933. Operatic divas included Nelia Manalo, Mercedes Matias Santiago, national artist Yavita Fuentes, Isang Tapales, the bass baritone Jose Masasgeld Santiago, and later on some of their students including Elmo Makel, Gamaliel Vire, Emmanuel Gregorio, Irma Potenciano, and Fides Cuyugan. Number 3. La Loba Negra. The Black She Wolf. It is a three-act Filipino opera based on history, and attributed to Father José Burgos. The opera tells of the story of the Governor General Francisco Bustamante, and his subsequent assassination, and the revenge of his wife Luisa, now called La Loba Negra, after the death of her husband. Number 4. Noli Mi Tanger. The three-act opera Noli Mi Tanger, was composed by national artist Felipe Padilla de Leon, with libretto by national artist Guillermo Tolentino. It premiered in 1957 at the Fu Auditorium. The cast included Juanita Javier Torres as Maria Clara, Don David as Ibarra, Fides Cuyugan Asensio as Sisa, Mi Lo Cristobal as Padre Damaso, and Morley de Ram as the director. Dr. José Rizal's Noli Mi Tanguer was all about the description of the Spanish colonization here in the Philippines, and how the Spanish treated Filipinos badly. The novel has a lot of symbolism, and real-life events that opened the eyes of the Filipino people during the Spanish colonization to start the revolution, and overthrow the Spanish colonizers. Every character in Noli Mi Tanger has a role that depicts different roles in Philippine society to fight for the freedom of the country. Number 5. El Filibusterismo. The opera El Filibusterismo was composed by national artist Felipe Padilla de Leon in 1970, with libretto by Anthony Morley. It is in three acts, and written in Tagalog. It was first staged at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. El Filibusterismo was a novel by Dr. José Rizal and a sequel to the earlier Noli Mi Tanger. It tells of the continuous struggle of the Filipino people to achieve freedom and emancipation from colonial rule. Through the major characters involved, it reflects the prevailing state of Philippine government and society that has become corrupt and immoral. For which, a revolution was being seen as the only solution for change. Now, let's have a quick glimpse at some video clips of Philippine operas. Video number 1. La Loba Negra. You can check out the full video through the link provided. Video number two. Noli Mi Tanger. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. 
na ojci Marija, Haratina sina, maj piton ta on si kad, na kajoj na grana čubaj. You can check out the full video through the link provided. Video number three. El filibusterismo. <laughs> Maghimagsik ang mga mamamayan Maghimagsik Yan ang hangad ko Yang mga pinamagin You can check out the full video through the link provided I hope you learned something in our lesson for today. See you again in our next video. Thank you for listening.